Lee. Thanks for your question. Um, in this question, it looks like we're given the setup here. If we want to find the length of this arc, um, that's made by dividing the circle up into the sector here. Let's call it S. We are going to use the formula S equals R theta, but theta has to be in radians. So let's go ahead and convert 75 degrees into radians. So to convert from degrees to radians, we multiply by a factor of pi over 180. So we're going to be multiplying 75 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll see that we get 5 pi over 12 degrees, or radians. So let's go ahead and plug that into our formula. R, in this case, they gave us, and it's 5 centimeters. So R times theta in radians by pi over 12, that gives us an arc length of 25 pi over 12. Now to find the area of the sector, you're actually going to use a formula that you're already familiar with. The area of any triangle is 1 half base times height, except in this case, our base is actually the length of our arc and our height is our radius. So it's actually just going to be 1 half s times r, which if you simplify is 1 half times the radius squared times theta. So let's go ahead and plug into that. s we already determined, so let's go ahead and plug that in. 1 half s, 25 over 12 pi, times r, and r is 5 centimeters. So, if you multiply all this out, you'll see that we get 125 pi over 24. The units for the arc length are going to be centimeters, the same as what your radius is in, and the units for the area are going to be centimeters squared. Thanks again for your question, Emily. Have a good night. I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.